Hey, hello everybody. Um, I want to do some more testing with this uh, mason jar candle with a quarter inch flat cotton wick. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to see if it kept the prime. So what I did was uh, after I got filming, done filming last night, I put this outside and then I, you know, it's kind of a nice sunny day outside. Uh, Let's see, 129, I brought it back inside, and I'm just going to try pulling the wick up and lighting it. I haven't done any priming on it. I haven't poured any additional fluid. It's just been sitting, and we just blew it out last night and put it away. So let's see what happens. We're also going to go for some impressive flare. So I'm curious if we do a three quarter inch. It's about three quarter inch. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Because I'd like to see if this will put out some real usable light. And we'll go test it in the bathroom in a minute where we can make it completely dark. Always makes kind of a smoky flame when it first gets started. Let's see what happens here. It should uh, die down in a second to a more reasonable flame and also stop putting off quite as much smoke. So that's pretty good right there. I think it's a good usable amount. I think you could probably even get away with uh, having an inch out maybe. So we'll see how this does. Uh, so we're going to do a whole bunch of uh, experiment videos here. Um, I'm going to try filling it with some more fluid uh, and you know have it not have to work so hard to pull um, fluid up. fluid level is right there. So we're still looking at about four inches. About an inch and a quarter of fluid. So we didn't have too much evaporation. Uh, the jar was just sitting like this, so the hole was open to evaporate uh, in the morning. Now it's dying down a little bit, but this was with no prime. So if this goes out, we're going to do another test with me uh, pouring some fluid down and doing a prime. So this is what could have happened. Um, you know, the wick was sitting there. Uh, it had fluid in it, but it lost its prime because it dried out from here to here. And somewhere in there it has some dry spots. The other thing we're going to do um, is we'll do a little snip and pull because I know a charred wick uh, is not good and you always should kind of eventually have to trim wicks a little bit so that's with a three-quarter inch reveal and what we're going to do is turn this off and go in the bathroom and see what kind of light this will put off then we're going to do another shot, we'll do another immediate test where I trim the wick back to fresh wick, we'll prime it, and we'll run it at three quarter inch and see how it does with a freshly uh, trimmed wick as if we started from scratch with three quarters inch running. So here we are, notice that I have put the mason jar candle inside of the sink, so if there's any sort of a problem, hopefully we'll contain anything. We have access to a fire extinguisher. And we have access to uh, the shower sprayer. I would say this is, um, <clears throat> after sitting in here for a minute, you know, barely adequate light. I would say you'd need two or three of these going the way it is right now. And this first test, we just, uh, you know, this thing was just sitting outside overnight, brought it inside and tried to light it. So our next test is going to be going to trim the wick, I'm going to fill the fluid level a little bit more 
and we'll try uh, the same height and with a freshly primed wick. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little fluid down, down right at the top, uh, just before we light it. So power's out. You're stuck in a house with uh, an area of the house that has no light, or it's in the middle of the night. This would be, you know, barely good enough to probably brush your teeth. Um, certainly couldn't shower by this amount of light. You'd have to get a couple of these going. Okay, we're gonna run a second test here. Uh, we're gonna use some additional uh, lamp light medallion lamp oil uh, and this has been sitting for a very long time. I purchased this a long time ago. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to see that but it says 11-03-2008. I wasn't kidding. I don't know if that's a manufacturer date probably or a sell-by date. I'm not sure. <laughs> This is some pretty old oil, so uh, a lot of the good stuff has probably evaporated in me using it. <laughs> so again, we're just going to prime it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the oil level um, an additional amount to about here and see it, what kind of flame that puts off with less draw. As always, you should always dry off your lamp in any anxious spillage. And wash your hands. <laughs> you know, they become a uh, man on fire. Okay, so what we have here is three quarter inch draw. We filled up, we have approximately two and a half inches of fluid. I have a three quarter inch reveal on the wick, and I have freshly primed it since it was sitting out overnight. Let's see what we have. Oh, you can see. So what I've done is I trimmed the wick. Like I said, this wick was sitting out overnight, so probably that wasn't the best idea, but I didn't want the house to smell like kerosene. So you can see versus the original lighting, this is just a whole other story, right? So that's a freshly trimmed wick. So you have clean wick material right there, and we'll see what it's going to die down to. I'm hoping we get about more like an inch and a half, two inch flame out of this uh, freshly prepared wick. And actually we might get away with one bottle being enough usable light to uh, use a bathroom in the dark if you have a power failure. So we're going to let that run for about another 30 seconds to see what it's going to die down to. Then I'm going to transfer it still lit to the bathroom, turn the camera off, bring the camera over, and uh, then we'll uh, start the recording again. <clears throat> but I'm definitely liking this flame right here. It's really interesting to see the difference, uh, the freshly trimmed wick and uh, a good prime on the wick, how it makes a difference. So 
I left my bottle out uh, just overnight, so that was within um, five hours, six hours. Um, and you know, I just pulled it out. It was a little bit sunny in the morning, kind of hot. It's going to be a hot day today. So uh, it was sitting out in the sun. So we probably already had uh, some dry, po dry spots starting to form in the wick. So I'm liking this flame and I'm thinking it's more impressive. I should have measured the other one, but you know, the other one was starting to already die down by now. And we're looking at about the very tip, a two inch flame, and let's call it a good honest uh, inch and a half, at the very top part of the flame. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna transfer this uh, lit. I'm gonna walk with it lit through the hall to the bathroom, and we'll close down the bathroom again and see what kind of light we get. I'm only gonna let this run for a minute. I don't want to melt my faucet here. It's a plastic cap on that faucet. It seems like it's okay, but you know. Anyway, so here we are. We're in the bathroom. Three-quarter inch reveal, freshly trimmed wick, uh, and we also have um, a prime, a fresh prime. So what had happened is we left the lamp out overnight outside, morning came, started to get sunny, and uh, we used it once and the flame was kind of pitiful, huh? Didn't look very good. So what I did was I freshly trimmed the wick, um, got a fresh prime, poured some fresh fluid down, and you know what? I could do some stuff in the bathroom with one lamp here. Um, I think almost, you know, you might have to draw your curtain over if you're taking a shower, but you, you'd probably be able to take a shower with just this amount of light. Um, certainly if you got two of these lamps going in a pinch, you could do all of your uh, morning prep and, uh, you know, have uh, some semblance of a normal life uh, if you have to, uh, you know, deal with an extended power failure. So I'm really liking these these lamps. Uh, we're going to do a whole new uh, a set of videos with the thermal glass tube with the 1H, um, I'm sorry, 1 8th inch uh, fiberglass wick. And I think uh, everybody's going to be very impressed. Make sure that's not getting too hot there. It's fine. <clears throat> so I would say if you're going to run these in the bathroom, definitely try to put it in your uh, in your sink. Um, unless your faucet is right over where the flame would be and don't melt your faucet. <laughs> but I'm really happy with this. I, I think you could really actually do something in the bathroom. So I'm going to end the video here. You know, we've been running a good 10 minutes here with the kerosene lamp going. So I'm really happy with this test. Uh, a good freshly trimmed wick and priming it definitely makes a difference. I can see the difference right here.